Hello guys, welcome back to one more session of Gross Pathology Spotters. In this session, we are going to see a classical spasinosplenic infarct. Like you can see, it's a perfect, a well jar mounted spasinosplenic infarct. So how would I want you to describe, if you're a student sitting in front of me, I want you to use the keywords. First, it's a formalin fixed jar mounted specimen of spleen. Most likely, the reason I am calling it spleen is the shape of it, it's like a rounded, or an, with rounded edges and an elongated structure. And uh, the hilum, it does not have a lobe, so it's unlikely to be liver. And the cut surface is a little bit brownish in color, most probably due to the vascularity of the spleen. It's uh, kind of altered the blood color and has become the brownish black appearance, right? So due to this reason, I am telling it's a spleen, right? Second, I like to describe the cut surface of the spleen before going to the cut surface. As usual, like I said, always mention the dimension, right? In the last but one we had discussed about fatty liver like i said you need to know a little bit about the normal architecture or the size of the liver anatomy so that you can say it's an enlarged spleen right a normal splenic size is somewhere around in the ballpark of six uh, centimeter and 13 centimeter long right six into 13 right but uh, for a convenience remember six into 12 right it's 12 centimeter long and six centimeter width is the normal approximate size of spleen so looking that and comparing the spleen, I could say that this is a little bit of an enlarged spleen. I will not be able to classically say it's congested unless and unless active and I can feel the texture of the spleen, right? And now in the cuts of the spleen, most of the areas of spleen is looking perfectly normal. But there's an area in the middle of the spleen, I feel it's a bit of whitish color. One, look at the, I mentioned the size of the whitish lesion, maybe a two into two centimeter lesion. I'm saying all the approximate things because the photo I cannot uh, exactly measure. If I zoom in, it becomes bigger, zoom out, it becomes smaller, right? So measure so using the same thing, 2.5 centimeter, is approximately, okay, two into two centimeter lesion, which is a completely white in texture, sorry, white in color, and it's kind of well demarcated, right? Or well defined. It's a very well defined lesion. It's definitely not an ill-defined lesion. And to describe this lesion, I would say that it's looking at this, well delineated structure and looking it's completely white in color looking like non vascularized tissue i would think of an infarct of a spleen right i would think of an infarct of spleen and adding to that point the base of the infarct is towards the capsule right and the edges of the infarct is towards the hilum right and the edges towards the hilum this kind of is going to convey to the examiner i am talking about an wedge infarct of spleen right so once you kind of tell this examiner i am talking about a wedge infarct of spleen then the questions will start flowing right so i want you to comment in the below section you guys are not commenting i want you to guys to comment tell me what are the two types of infarct first question and give me one example of each type of infarct right there are two types of infarct based on the color based on the etiology give me both the names and also tell me what is one example for each of them right see you soon in the next video if you're still not subscribed click the subscribe button and let's learn the entire gross pathology one video at a time see you soon bye bye